Alrighty. Howdy neighbors and welcome back to a date with death. Last time, last time, uh, the neighbor messed up so bad. <laughs> Not the neighbor, but the person that the neighbor was trying to date. Messed up so bad, and then that was it. We found out that the Grim Reaper legitimately cannot lie. And so we asked him questions. I think he's starting to like us. Which is nice, because I've been working at it. Even when it makes me uncomfy, I've been working at it. So yeah, here we go. Boop. How's the little man doing? Yeah! Let's keep the hello. I think that could stay. And let's do a lighter purple. Yeah! Alright, cool, cool. There's Sherpies in the new in our gallery. Why? Thank you, no. Not what we're doing. Alright, well, RIP. Internet. Is your computer on? Oh, that's sketchy. <laughs> yes, it is. That's like a sandwich. Irrelevant. The computer is definitely on. I'm fucking dead. Okay. We have to pull wallpapers. I don't want to switch it. But... Oh, I'm gonna keep it as face. Alright, chat room. Go! <coughs> oh! Don't touch my mortal, you say? Well. And he just switched it to Grim! Man, mortal. I have an important. I have had an important revelation, and that is no. And that is that I am unaware of certain aspects of your person. It is imperative that you answer this immediately upon being seen. One, your favorite mortal color. Two, the season in which you favor most. <laughs> what is this? He's doing <laughs> the questions. Three, what is your family status? Four, names of any mortals who tickle your fancy. Five, left or right side of the bed. Thank you. Dots. Why are you taking so long to respond? Rest of porch was wrong. No, the problem cannot be me. Lord, I request your presence! <laughs> uh, hello? Oh, okay, well, a text. Anyway, let me read all this. Are you playing 20 questions or something? 20? Don't be ridiculous. These try doesn't count. I asked five. Particularly, there are eight questions there. This is the first five, mortal. But you want to know what took you so long? I don't answer it. But yes, your approach was wrong, as always. Did they answer the other questions? Fine, I worked on the list. My favorite mortal color. Uh, I like both black and purple, though. That's why in my logo, the main color is purple. Blue is also really nice. I really like blue. I don't like orange though, but we did it for like a pop of color. I saw my first two characters, Laura and Viola, are purple and blue. That's their like signature colors. Well, I am like cosplaying Laura right now, so let's go purple. Oh, 
I'll do purple then. <clears throat> okay, purple. Got it. Fun color. Good season. I like winter the best because I get to wear all my sweaters. Winter. I like the cold weather. And winter fashion is really quite nice. Oh, great! I get to wear all my sweaters. Plus, it's great weather to snuggle in. You seem like you'd be good at snuggling. I would be good at snuggling. Yeah, get down. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that either. I will leave science to the more scientific men. Well, uh, then I would be, as you said, down. I have wondered. Maybe I like to hold you. I mean, someone. I say, never mind. I might think they lost for words. You're very forward today. Not that I mind, like at all. In fact, I quite like it. Now, but is that meant to be flirting? Oh, flirting? That would be absurd, mortal. The, the Grim Reaper does not flirt. That would be ridiculous. Wow, you're really wooing me right now. Anyway, my questions. What about your family? I don't mind if you ask your questions about them. Do you have any family? Of course I do. I see them pretty often. We're close. We don't live too far apart. So we catch up when we can. <clears throat> this is nice. You enjoy the proximity. I do, actually. I'm really close to my family. Who knows that I have anyway? We said we've been moving for a while so I can have some more space. Why do you need more space? Like this one honestly I'm fine with like one bedroom straight up I don't want a lot of space it'd be too big but I also don't want too little space because then it'd be too small It's an option. <coughs> hey, you can come share a place with me. I don't need an entire house to myself. Why would you want to live with me? Little mortal, you wouldn't be living with me. Do you have the sheets? Snore super loud? And that one I meant at all. And no, I do neither of those things. How do you know? Unless someone's there to tell you. Did Asriel tell you? Oh, Grim, we cannot be. We steal all the blankets and I was chilled to the bone. <laughs> we started so loudly that I could not hear my own thoughts. <laughs> you have vivid imagination. But no, I do not sleep with others. I do not like to share my own space. So there's no way for me to convince you. I why would you ever live with me? I, oh, why would you ever want to live with me? I'll never understand. You didn't know I existed a week ago. Okay, that's a totally reasonable point to make. Very fair. Very fair. Exactly. This week is over. I'll own your soul. Then we can revisit this. You definitely will not, but sure. Back check a few steps then. My family? Yeah? Um, 
Palmer is me alone. She's strong and capable. I admire her. I can't imagine this just raising a child alone. I'll always be thankful to her. That's pretty tough considering I'm her kid. Yes, I imagine you were a difficult child. That wasn't too bad, all things considering. I was. I wouldn't have changed what we had for in the world, though. How many siblings? Yeah. My role model. Do you have any siblings, Grim? I do not. I'm the Lord for that. You do give only child vibes, so I'm not surprised. How so? The way you act sometimes. You're disgusted at the idea of sharing. Sometimes you're kind of demanding. I take what I want when I want. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> Am I right as a reaper? But if you had a sibling, they'd put you in your place. I know my place. Sure you do. Lots the family questions out of the way. Yeah? What's next? I heard the names of any mortals who tickle your fancy. That's it, they do need that for? I'll have to take care of. I think my idea of taking care of and yours are probably very different. Whatever do you mean? What will you do with the information? You couldn't take their souls prematurely. Their souls? No! That would be against the code. I'll just make sure they don't get in my way. In my way of getting a soul, of course. Nothing else, nothing whatsoever. Good job, buddy. I think I should keep those names to myself. Tell me immediately. I don't think so, mister. What if I command you to tell me? I will laugh at you, baby. <laughs> you should do as you're told. There's no point in making this more difficult than it needs to be. Grimmy. Wait, immortal. I don't need random people getting in the way of my work. How exactly do you expect them to interfere? I don't want to find out. You just give me the names and don't worry about it. There must be someone, correct? No. There's no one in my life like that, Grim. Well, that makes the job a bit easier. I suppose no maiming will need to occur today. Huh? Maiming? Oops, did I say that? We wouldn't really do that, would you? Who knows? Hi. Because he likes you. I'm serious about my work. I did not want anyone getting in the way. Even if there was something special in my life, they wouldn't be able to stop the Grim Reaper. I don't share sunshine. Share what? You, obviously. Probably there really is no one. But why? Why is there no one else? What do you mean? Why do you not have someone? We're so... So what? Tell me! Tell me I'm cute! Uh, why do you not have a specialist person? Are you asking why I'm single right now? Yes, I do not understand. You're... Never mind. No, what were you going to say? Tell me. I'm what? Have you seen yourself? Are you trying to insult me or compliment me? Did I tell you how absolutely awful you look? Dots. I did not. That would be because I cannot lie. This fucking guy got me kicking my feet! <laughs> Twirling my hair, kicking my feet. The fuck? So? I'm sure the people have asked, you, asked to court you. No? 
I've never actually dated anyone. I find that hard to believe. I ain't lying to you. No one's ever asked me out. Nuts. Not one person has ever asked a court to you. No, that's what I'm saying. No flowers or fancy dates or chocolates or anything on Valentine's Day. In real life, fun fact about me, someone did ask me out on Valentine's Day and then immediately broke it off as soon as the school day ended uh, because they just wanted to look cool in school. That hurt. That was the last relationship I was in. <laughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. I hated all of that. Anyway, I know you're interested in that sort of thing. Food, flowers. I think so. I don't need anything fancy though. It would be nice to get some flowers or something. What about you then, Grim? You said yesterday you've never been in love. But that doesn't mean you've never dated or had a crush on someone. Any under... Any other worldings take your fancy? Underworldings? No. And then, any mortals? Dots. Well... And on the final question, right on the left side of the bed. Nah, you have not answered yet. <clears throat> I just pass. Left to right side. If you're looking straight at the bed, I'm on the right side. And when you're laying on the bed, I'm on the left. say the right because when you're looking at it it's the right side the left side should be up against the wall and then the head should be by a window for maximum safety should something happen easy out yeah Right. Noted. Those were all the questions I had prepared. And ask me again why it took so long to respond? Or whether I thought your approach was to this little game was wrong? Fine, answer them this time then. <clears throat> was my approach wrong? It was cute in a weird way. Your approach was fine. You just phrase things kind of strangely. Like you're interested, but I didn't want to seem too interested. So obvious sometimes. It's sweet. Obvious in what way? Obviously really interested in getting to know me. Ooh, also! Whoops, he burned your house down. <laughs> Just a typical Tuesday. <laughs> you were able to yourself again. Last time you did that was when we first met. <coughs> I did not ramble then. You kind of did. Had a little chat with you to yourself. Nope, you're remembering incorrectly. I do not make such a fool of myself. I am the Grim Reaper. If you say so, Grim. We simply tested the program to ensure it ran correctly. That is all. Well, it definitely did. I just... I saw them just in time to witness something hilarious. And then I'm to bear witness to my shame. Right as he yelled, fuck me. Definitely a way to introduce yourself to someone. 
<clears throat> I'm never gonna let you live it down. Oh, yay. I'm so joyful at the prospect. How lovely. Fantastic, even. I'm glad. Oh. Hi. Yes, yeah, just something I can help you with, little Reaper. I am simply bored of typing out my responses to your stupidity. <clears throat> mean, but fair. You're the one who spouted nonsense. I know you didn't really mind. You wouldn't talk to me all this time if you did. You just take my son and be done with it. Alright? That. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me taking my time. Someone's struggling. I'll take it when the time is right. Mm-hmm. You appear to be running out of time, though. Two days and then your soul is mine, remember? I did not struggle. No! <laughs> that will not be happening. How could you be so sure? Statistically speaking, I'm just as likely to win this bet as you are. <clears throat> Another foolish assumption. Where is he? Where is our man, Azriel? A Reaper outclass is a human in every way. Statistically, you cannot win. <coughs> I think I'm doing a decent job so far. Anyway, I'm still, you know, alive. Maybe I'm just letting you have it until the last possible moment. Maybe we just can't take it. <laughs> you are fortunate, you know. Oh, yeah? Fortunate I was the Reaper assigned your case. Another would not put up with you like I do. Oh, yeah, I do feel lucky that I've met you. Huh. That's enough meaningless chatter. What are you doing, mortal? Right now? Which is obvious. You and your small brain. <laughs> it's very wrinkly. <laughs> Meant before that. I apologize. I forgot. I have to be awfully clear with you. Why do you want to know? I answered the question. Hi, Mr. Assistant. Well, um, before you fifty questions, I was it fifty? No one near 50. Are you that point at counting? You're nearly 50 questions. I was. I'm not doing much, actually. Hanging around my apartment. Silva was acting a little strange earlier. I think he might be getting sick. But he perked right up. So I just have a, feeling, a healing presence. <clears throat> Maybe you do. I actually just got home from work. I'm the next few days off. You do. I figured if I was gonna die, I didn't want to spend my last days at work. But I know it'll be fun anyway. I'm just gonna enjoy my little at home vacation. I see. Any plans for later? Mm hmm. I kinda wanna hang out with Sylvan. I think I'll stay home. Perfect. They be saying how many PJs after all. Do you have any PJs, Grim? You think I sleep in this? I can't picture you wearing anything else. Of course I have pajamas. They're black and very comfortable. I could have guessed the color, honestly. What kind of they? Why do you care? I won't imagine you in them. Why? The cute pajamas. Why are we doing this? It's a short-sleeved shirt and shorts. Are you happy now? Immensely. What about you? Oh, the Grim Reaper wants to know what my PJs are like. I have like lounge pants and a t-shirt. That's what I do. So I guess it's pretty close. Same with you, actually. This is obviously useful information for my job. Of course. <clears throat> yes. Mm -hmm. 
So, you won't go anywhere tonight? Stay right there. Ah! Huh? <laughs> Good, that works for me. Huh? I hung up. Yeah, I know, but why? I'll find out soon enough. Just wait. Wait. I know you don't have that much patience, but yes. Wait, mortal. Respect for your computer. Not sure what you're waiting for exactly, but you might as well hang out until he messages you again. Spend a little time with Sylvan and check the most if you spread. I really can't find anything fun to do while you wait for Grim to get back in contact. Honestly, it worries you a little just how dependent you've become on talking to him. You lay back on your bed, staring up the ceiling. We met up five days ago, but it feels like a lifetime we've known each other. Look at the fact that he's the Grim Reaper. I honestly never imagined someone's company as much as his. It's a little confusing. You know full well what the strange feeling in your heart is, but you try to pull it aside. As for the time him is, he's still the Grim Reaper. <coughs> you wander back over to your computer. It's been around 30 minutes now. There's still nothing. Disappointed, you go to turn away when you see an incoming call. Welcome back. Look up. No! 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 <laughs> Call ended. You look up for your computer toward the night sky. On the other side of your currently closed window, you see something so surprising that you must just be imagining it. Hi, honey! You have lots of belts. What the hell? What are you doing here? No, that face is priceless. Well worth the trip here, I have to say. Rim? Don't call me that to my face. It's embarrassing enough hearing it over call. It's Casper. That's my real name. He's the friendly ghost! That's my real name. Uh, Casper? Hello, sunshine. How long have you seen a ghost? Maybe I have. A very cute one. How far from a ghost, Lore? Are you sure? Certain. So you'll admit you're cute, though. No. I admit that you're <clears throat> quite cute, though. Uh oh. Which you should know to be truthful. Because, as you know, I cannot lie. Am I flustering you? Your cheeks are red. So are yours, dude. This is for warm in here. A little sauna. Mm-hmm. So hot tonight, yeah? I'm trying to avoid my gaze right now. Come out of your face. I'm trying to look at you. No need to be shy anyway. You're cute. Nothing to be shy about. See, looking flustered for a change. Rim, Casper, Casper. Then, yes, mortal. Why are you even here? Wait a second. I'm on the fifth floor. You do. How much of a inconvenience for me, luckily. Are you even standing, sitting? Whatever you're doing there. I'm neither sitting nor standing. I can literally see you on the other side of this window. Congratulations! Would you like an award? But you'll find I'm floating. <laughs> I can show off. What the hell? Okay, I'll add that to list things I wasn't expecting today. I feel like I've been cheated out on some very important information about you. This is what could you fly? Stories. Why do you act so surprised? You're floating five stories up from the ground. Wait! Let's see. You think I'd be that careless? I don't know. Would you be? 
They cast the glamour. Okay. You invisible then? Invisible? No. Take another form in everyone else's eyes but yours. My neighbors are get to see a serious man floating outside my window. If they take a look, they simply see a raven. A raven, of course. Not a bad choice. A predictable side view sometimes. But I do need to know. Yes. How exactly did you find me? You think I didn't know where you live? I never told you. I know everything about you, Sunshine. So I assume you've come to claim it? My soul, that is? I had a good run, I suppose. No, I'm actually not here for that. Are you sure you can't lie? Extremely sure. So you're here, why? I'm here for something else entirely. Not Sylvan! <laughs> I've come to. I've. <clears throat> I have something, something here, with me, hidden. I'm gonna give you, is he giving me flowers? Here. <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> For me? Is there anyone else here? Yes, you, stupid mortal. You said you'd like some. I didn't think to ask what type of flowers you like, so you the ones that look like you. Like we're gonna send these flowers to fun. Casper, the yes, mortal. I'm about to fucking start crying. It really means a lot to me. You know, if you want them, you're gonna have to open the window. Oh, of course. Are you gonna come in? Are you inviting me in? I promise to try to be good. Please do come in. And I'm really pleased by the invitation. Maybe next time, little human. Did you do mine? But you really have to open it at least a crack if you want these. Open them open. Yeah! <laughs> Here you go. You went the risk taker, aren't you? Are you telling me I should be scared? I'll simply make an observation. You want to meet Sylvan? What fun would life be if we weren't taking at least a few risks? There you go, Lore. Reach for the flowers. Perhaps. Your hands are really warm. Yours are quite cold, even through the gloves. They're really pretty. How can hands be pretty? I meant the flowers. But your hands are quite pretty too, how they mention it. I say your hands are also very nice. Thought their hands could be so lure. Oh no, not me, so <laughs> What are you whispering about now? I really must be on my way. <clears throat> I accomplished the thing I wanted to do. So soon? Duty always calls. To steal souls, then? Or are theirs than yours? Wouldn't you say? Thoughts? No. You can just hand over yours now if you want. Better get to work before you get in trouble, my little reaper. Cause what am I yours? Cause the moment we met. Don't be damaging my goods, you hear? So demanding. Casper. Lore. Do be careful. Cause you are so nicely, I'll try my best. I forget to close that window after I leave. I not anyone crawling in when you aren't looking. New items added to the gallery! <laughs> I am ending this episode here. I feel fulfilled. <laughs> I feel happy. I got flowers from a complete stranger. And I'm happy. <laughs> so, thank you very much for watching. As I feel the joy. And hopefully I will see you later.